so uh, good morning everyone so good morning everyone good morning. okay so uh, so we are here for the summer school on computer architecture and uh, the like i am bisho like you would have received emails from me bugging you from last uh, two months or so so uh, this is a like whole range of topics that we will cover uh, in next five days and as you know like we are sponsored by two uh, industry partners intel and md and along with the csc department at iit kanpur here okay so i'll give you a quick overview of why we uh, planned for this summer school so before that this is our team so these are like partners in crime so you can find me at the bottom and lavanya is here i think manu is on the way and govind and arka will join by tomorrow night mainak is here uh, anushwa and kanishka will join by day after tomorrow nayan are you here yeah so he will be the tutor and sudhanshu where are you okay and samuel okay you guys are sitting together okay and unnati so unnati will be here for two days only but uh, so those three guys are your bugging guys like you can bug them at any point of time and uh, yeah so no need to introduce me so let's uh, look at the process so i received around 140 applicants and i shortlisted around 55 based on this three four parameters so if you are here then you can thank bishwa and if you are not here then you can just send me an email with uh, all your uh, whatever okay so the objective behind the summer school was to improve the ecosystem related to computer system research in india and uh, to the best of my knowledge this is the first of its kind in india where we are providing lectures hands on and panel discussions both from academia and from industry so just to understand like why computer architecture is important for like computer science guys so uh, this stack is uh, i think it's pretty much familiar to you guys right like you are like cs or ec guys so usually you start with a problem you write an algorithm then write a program compile it operating system they schedule it and at the end of the day your chips the processor or the memory they actually take care of the data and they execute it okay but in all this uh, like different layers of the computing stack you will see the layers of abstraction right and whenever we learn all these topics we usually miss the abstraction okay so uh, just to uh, get a feel is it good abstraction is good or bad i guess you have your breakfast is it good or bad good okay so i don't think so <laughs> so anyway so it's good if you want to just understand something at a layer where you don't need the like mastering of a particular topic right but if you want to understand why something works the way it works or how it works then the abstractions barrier they don't help okay so yeah so abstractions are good if you if you are like the understanding the one on one of a topic but if you want to go deep then you want to know the how and why of the abstraction layers okay so the simple question like how many of you can drive a bike so that's the abstraction layer question and how many of you know how a bike works so that's where the details comes right and most of the time we don't go into the details we just know like this is how uh, we can drive a bike so the goal is to break the abstraction layers through next 5 days and try to understand more and more about the systems not only architecture but interface with operating system compilers programming language parallel programming uh, storage and what not okay uh, can you give me answer to this two famous quotes anyone bill gates here okay what about this one uh, watson. watson yeah okay cool so the, the this quotes are from famous people in the computing industry like i think it's like uh, i think two decade or three decade back where they are talking about five computers will be enough for the entire world and 640 kb of memory will be enough for everybody so i think in this room now we have more than 60 computers and gbs if not tbs of storage right yeah so uh, that means in the reality we have traveled so far in last 20 30 years and it's uh, better to understand like what exactly uh, the the techniques or the the new 
ideas that have come up in the field of architecture that have uh, like made to the successful uh, computing uh, evolution. Okay. So with this, uh, I'll welcome again, and uh, I'll hope that you will get your why and how of uh, computer architecture in next five days. So feel free to bug me related to logistics, and feel free to bug us, the tutors, and uh, like Lavanya, me, and Manu will join, I think, in, a, in an hour or so for all the technicalities. Okay. So with this, I will hand over to Lavanya, who will uh, start with performance, uh, performance measurement. Okay. Thank you, man.